And welcome to yet another speed build. Happy Sunday. How has your weekend been? Um, I kind of really like uploading on a Sunday. I feel like it's cool. Like, let's just have like enjoy that last bit of freedom before school on Monday, before work on Monday. It's like I like hanging out with you guys and you giving you something to watch and then just enjoy that last little bit of, I don't know, freedom. Let's call it that. But anyway. <laughs> onto this build let's tell you all about it this uh build is a tropical beachfront um a bungalow i saw a floor plan and it had a real life um photo of a house so it had been built and it had these amazing shutters and i was like mm -hmm, i need repeat need those that the whole element in my life and I was now when I look at builds even just in the real world or if I see them on Pinterest and just browsing I just think I don't know in like sims language if you want to get what I mean I see a build and I'm like hmm that would be like two tiles there three tiles there a bump out of one like I think I break it down like that and also I always if I see something and it triggers something in the build by catalog, I'm just like, yep, I can envision it. And when I saw the shutters, I was just like, those are Felix's Georgian shutters. Just beautiful, yeah. I just was like, mm-hmm, I have those shutters. This is something I would love to be legit in the game as in a EA content. I would love shutters to be in, um, added into the I don't know into the game that's the word into the game wow language um I would love them to be added but I don't think they are something kind of the way that Felix done them and they're like individual and you can place them I don't feel like the sims team would ever do shutters like that because it's kind of like a modular make your own kind of thing and they never do make your own modular things really like um the shutters always have windows it's always a window with a shutter and you can't yeah i just don't see them doing it like that but i wish it was a possibility for them to do it um so yeah talking the shutters you can see i'm adding them on here i do end up just making that into a room and then copying and pasting it i unsuccessfully copied and pasted it then because the top shutters were missing uh, i do eventually get it together and copy it um yeah so i made it like three tiles wide at the front and at the side so i just copied it four times and we had all the shutters that we could ever possibly need um right there so i was just i was happy with the way that the shutters turned out they actually turned out the way i wanted them to and uh the only thing i had to compromise on believe it or not was how wide the center part of um the build was I really wanted it to be equal, like those steps to be three tiles wide as well as the side, but I, there was no three tile door that looked good. And I didn't want, I know there's someone's kind of, I'm sure there's an add-on set where someone's uh, put that two tile door onto three tiles, like centered it on three tiles, but I didn't want any CC other than the, um, what is it, the shutters, because I don't plan on doing a Tumblr post for this. I only really do Tumblr posts for my CC field builds because there's lots of links and all that good stuff. Um, but I will, <clears throat> if you do want the shutters, they are by Felixander and they are from his Georgian set. And I can very happily link you to his Patreon down in the description box and all that good stuff. Um, I have done a CC free version of this build as well up on the gallery you can see it there um, if you look on my gallery and you're like where are all of your builds don't forget to tick in the advanced section tick include custom content and you will see all of my builds um, lots of people are like I can't find this have you uploaded it and I'm like tick that box fortunately by default that is 
unticked like it's even unticked in my in your own library so um when i go into my own library just on my computer i'm like where are my builds oh yeah i've got to tick the box it's kind of an annoying thing to have to keep ticking i wish it was like tick it and then you had to tick it again to uncheck it that'd be kind of cool feature but nope <laughs> not the what that's not the way so we're doing the porch area here it's I I had to do this like I did all of the furniture here first before I'd even done the landscaping which is normally not me I do the landscaping first and then kind of move on to the outdoor areas and furnish them but I just had a clear vision of what I wanted that porch to be like so I just I just had to roll with it and the plants as well everything looks great jungle adventures the plants are a little bit bright for this area but um, they're tropical so we had to go with them I don't think if there is like a tropical pack about to be released or announced should I say by the Sims team I don't think it would be like a similar tropical to um, Jungle Adventures that is like more tropical like South America if I see Caribbean I think I think Caribbean tropical maybe or like Asian tropical maybe something like that I, I envision them doing I have to say I have no insider information right now when it comes to what packs are coming out next all I know is I'm going to EA Play and I'm going to be recording content I have no idea what it is so fingers crossed um, but I would put my money on it being a tropical build um, just from like the I, I don't know if you call it a leak but it got put up on the uh, game reseller website uh, all the details for a tropical pack the funny thing is though it says it's being released on the 31st of December 2019 so they obviously don't actually have real details in order to list it so I, I don't know but um, I don't think I've ever seen a pack listed and it hasn't been the thing I, I, I don't know uh, I really did want university I've got to say I wanted university first I just wanted to be just because I already knew I was going I just wanted to be there to be able to do the like uh, pre-launch stuff for, for university that is like if I was there I just I don't know if I'm gonna be invited back to like a sims camp again so I'm like when I know I'm going I wanted it to be university so little bit disappointed but not that I'm not disappointed there's a tropical pack because I wanted that as well it's just I just wanted to be there for university fingers crossed I get invited back and when it is university and I'll be like yes I'm just I'm just I'm just so hyped to go now um when I'm recording this it is Saturday you're gonna it's gonna be Sunday when you're listening to this and I'll be going Wednesday morning it's my flight to EA Play I'm just like I haven't packed the suitcases are not downstairs my bedroom looks like a bomb went off in it you have no idea I've it was I swear it was tidy yesterday maybe the day before and I don't know what happened what happened is actually I went shopping whenever I go shopping and I get new stuff like my room just looks like an absolute pigsty it's like I just who knows um also oh yes totally forgot so I'm going to EA play and I'm gonna be making a vlog of the whole experience hopefully maybe I can live stream to you guys um, that's gonna be a thing you can live stream dialect uh, directly from your mobile phone to YouTube so that's what I want to do I want to do a live stream um, I know last year like uh, I think Sims community did a live stream I would love to be able to do that fingers crossed um, everything works out I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to test that out and see if it works uh, I've got like a microphone for my iPhone I actually upgraded my iPhone Shh. I just I just accelerated the upgrade to now because I wanted not to uh, buy all of this equipment for a phone that I knew I was going to upgrade uh, my phone was like three years old it was overdue an upgrade so 
Yep, I upgraded my phone to iPhone X. No, it's not XS. Oh, so bad. 10S. I, I felt like an idiot. I went to the Apple store and I was like, yeah. They're like, what phone would you like? And I was like, an XS. And I was like, oh, no, oh, it's not XS, it's 10S. You know, when you're just like, oh, please don't look down at me for saying XS instead of 10S, please. Um, so yeah, upgraded that. I bought a microphone, as I said. Um, what else did I do? Like a tripod so I can hold the camera out so it doesn't shit the phone out so it doesn't like shake so much in my hand. And also, what else? Oh, I tried to buy some lenses and the company that I ordered them from did not dispatch them. Oh, and it was coming from America, like it needed to be dispatched like ASAP, like, you know, normally you order something and it gets dispatched like either the same day or next day. It was like two days and they still hadn't dispatched it and it was kind of cutting it fine when I ordered it anyway. Um, I paid for like faster shipping to the UK and nope, no dispatch happened. So I'm gonna have to, it was really cool because you could put the lens, I need a, like a wider angle lens so you're not so zoomed into my face, you know? I don't think you really wanna be zoomed into my face. You wanna see more of the background and um their one their system you could clip it and you could use it on the front camera which i'm i don't know if i feel weird about having a lens on the on the phone and having to it to be on the back camera and then when you're walking along people can just see my face on my phone screen i don't know it just seems weird also i'm worried about being cutting like the top of my head off or something when I'm walking around so I just wanted it to be on the front camera and be able to see myself and make sure it didn't look like a train wreck you know but that didn't work out so I'm gonna get um, something off of Amazon you know prime prime to the rescue can I say I couldn't live without Amazon Prime now it's just like anytime something takes longer than one day on Amazon Prime I'm like what is this Huh? Huh? What is this? <laughs> uh, but luckily, I better order it now, actually. I need... Yeah, I'm gonna order it. As soon as I finish this voiceover, I'm gonna order the lens. You have to, like, order... I'm getting... What's it called? Rhino Shield. They do cases. And they also have a lens that you can put on, and it attaches to their case. And um, that's what I'm gonna use. That's my emergency backup. It's cheaper than... And a lot less money than I was gonna spend, but... I wanted all of those lenses because I'm still like going to Wimbledon to watch the tennis. I was like, maybe I can make, actually take some good like shots. You know, maybe I can step my Instagram, Instagram like game up. Uh, yeah, in case you're wondering, I am on Instagram. I don't know, I'd probably be doing Insta stories while I'm away as well. Um, my handle is hey underscore Harry on Instagram as well. If you wanna go follow me, get ready. I, st I only started reposting to it like when I was away in Bordeaux recently and I'm like, do you know what? I didn't follow any design, uh, what's it called? Any design accounts on Instagram. I was like, what was I thinking? So I followed a whole load of design um, accounts. So that just means I get more inspiration. So if, I, if you hear me say I've got the builder's block again, just tell me, go to Insta woman, okay? Just sort yourself out, get onto Instagram and go through all of the pages that you follow. But yeah, anyway, so we've completely done the outside. Can I just say, I haven't spoken about the build barely, uh, but the outside, the landscaping is kind of au natural, I'm gonna call it, apart from the very front of it. Um, I don't think a build is ever gonna be like fully manicured like this. So we've done like a nice selection of um, plants around the porch area, but then uh, kind of kept it natural and just put palm trees around the place. Um, at the back, of course, I put a fire pit as well. What you won't see is I've also put in a swing set there as well, because this uh, build has two bedrooms, one of which has two single beds in there and it's a kid's bedroom and then the other one's the master bedroom. So it's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. The master one is ensuite, but it's a like separated 
own singular unit bathroom just in case you have like I don't know a visitor coming over um it would I always find it weird to not have a bathroom that a visitor can go into and not have to go through a bedroom even though this is the sims and they don't really care about going through a bedroom before they go to a bathroom but you know something I can't quite get out of my head anyway but yeah so this build I was very happy about having all of my clutter items back last build was base game only I really did enjoy doing that base game only build um, a whole load new more subscribers came from that base game only so I presume maybe that you just got the game and you were looking for base game build so welcome uh, this is not base game I'm sorry I'm apologize uh, but yeah that one I just really missed my clutter for the kitchen in particular I can't it, you know it's it was like it's a great base game build but it's not the greatest the build could have been if you get what I mean um, if I had access to all of the content so all of it is in here um, the only CC is the shutters by Felixander. Uh, I don't know if I said that, that because it's the second time I'm doing this voiceover because I thought I rambled on the first one. So I just deleted it all and started again. But yeah, link in the description to his Patreon. Uh, they're the shutters from the Georgian set. Yeah, so you only need uh, that one month of content. If you've already got it, you've got everything you need. Uh, yeah so I don't ever really look and see what content like packs I've used to be quite honest I kind of just like to just chuck everything in but yeah I'm sorry it's just yeah I don't know maybe I should start doing like I don't know base game and like a expansion pack build or base game and this build or I really thought that I could do like a base game build with only Peacemaker or a base game build with only free um, custom content included because I think that is like lots of people say that they only build with in-game content because they want to be inclusive and they don't want to have to make people download CC. Now I get their logic but only including game content means that someone has to have spent all of that money to get all of that content so um it's probably cheaper to say base game plus cc only then you only need to have the game because all the cc would be free so yeah i don't i don't know maybe i'll do that i don't know i just like to chuck these ideas out into the atmosphere and then you guys give me feedback on whether you like it or not and you're like mm, yeah you may um the world save i am so excited to do the cc free world save can i just say that um i put out a question on twitter saying that i was on pinterest trying to find inspiration of a theme for willow creek and um ashafi actually she is i don't know if she's I think she has a YouTube. I don't know if she. I know she streams. I don't know if she has a YouTube as well. But she suggested Savannah builds, and I was like, oh, okay, Southern builds. And she's like, but it was specific, uh, specifically Savannah, and then Oxford Splice, um, a regular here, um, then sent me a link to a historical website that had like historical Savannah builds, and the builds are stunning. Like, they're so. They're like historical builds, but without having to use Felix's content because it is going to be CC free. And I made up this really cute window using um, some items and wall decor with a window. I'm not going to say what it is because then it was going to spoil it. But um, yeah, I'm just excited to get started on that. I don't know if that's going to be possible before I go away. Um, I think maybe the first part of the let's let's build or tutorial series might come before that it all just depends how big a build the first one is because of course i need to do a small build because i haven't got enough time um but yeah i'm just excited for what's to come on the channel and thank you i don't say this enough thank you all for watching my videos for commenting for liking subscribing and doing all that great stuff because it means a lot a lot a lot a lot to me and 
yeah, just thank you for being here and being patient when I don't upload that often and still sticking around. Thank you very much for not forgetting that I exist and coming back for more and all that good stuff. So yeah, we're on to the last room. This is the kids' bedroom, as I said. Um, those beds from Seasons, I, I think I've only used those once before. So every once in a while, though, I do like doing CC free because it makes me use a few more items. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and I'm never going to leave you with the screenshots. Bye, guys. Bye.